My name is Oleg and today I'll give you a quick look at Cloud 3.7 and show you the powerful AI agent that I built with it. Now this is a mind-blowing comparison chart that proves why this model is absolutely revolutionary compared to everything else out there. AI is developing at lightning speed and those who jump in early will win big, just like how early Bitcoin investors turned a few hundred dollars into millions. Watch until the end to discover how Cloud 3.7 can transform your workflow today. It's impressive on its own, but when powering an agent like mine, it takes your productivity to a whole new level. But before building an agent, I want to talk about why this model is so good real quick. The main thing that they added is reasoning, so it can do both instant responses and deep reasoning when it's necessary. And you also have the full control over it, so you can say, hey, go ahead and think about this problem for this amount of time, which means that you have the full control over the amount of money that will be spent in the process. Looking at this benchmark, we can say that this model is so much better than competitors at many tasks, for instance, at reasoning, agenting coding especially, and instruction following which means it is easier to write a good prompt for Claude 3.7, so it will actually follow instructions, which is very important in my opinion. Apart from that, I want to mention that this model has much less limitations. So before, if you would ask what happens if you mix Bleach and Ammonia, it will refuse to answer. And right now it will answer fully. It will explain why it is actually dangerous. And as always, you can go to Claude.ai, this model is available in their general subscription, which is 20 bucks per month. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. And right now let's move to an AI agent. So I wanted to build a financial analyst agent that analyzes performance of my stocks and provides insights. First of all, this problem actually requires deep reasoning capabilities because the agent has to go through different financial data and analyze why these price changes happened. So this problem is actually complicated. And the second reason why I wanted to build it is that I actually have the personal problem of mine. I have different investments, but I don't have much time to analyze what is going on day to day. But from time to time, I want to know what is going on and I want to have some professional advice on how I can improve my position. So I decided to build it and I used Relevance AI. It's a simple agents building platform to do that. So this is how the whole workflow looks like. Initially, I provide my stocks or any other assets that I have as input, for instance, cryptocurrencies. Then the agent does the research of relevant materials from the web. It finds daily prices of each of the stocks throughout different days. It finds relevant news that might have affected stock prices. And here we are using Perplexity AI to do that because Claude doesn't yet have the web search capabilities. And then we are asking our agent to analyze connections between price changes and use. Here it is the most complicated part in the pipeline. We are using Cloud 3.7 to do the deep thinking. It has to kind of explain why what is going on on the market actually happened. And then it has to prepare report with recommendations depending on our personal investment strategy. And then the agent has to process questions from a user as many times as necessary until the user is finally happy and satisfied. So this is how the full workflow looks like. But before we dive in, one quick favor. If you want more practical AI agent videos, hit subscribe. Your support helps me create more quality content like this. So to get started with Relevance AI, we have to go to the relevanceai.com. Here you can create an account for free. I already have my account, so I'll just press login. And we're entering the main workspace. Here you have agents and tools, and every agent operates with different tools. So first of all, we have to build our tool. So we're going to the tools section, and the tool that I already built for my agent is called Asset Analytics. So let's go inside the tool. The main goal is to analyze performance of an asset and provide detailed feedback with financial recommendations. So don't be overwhelmed or scared by the interface of this tool. It is actually quite simple. In the middle, you have the whole pipeline of how this tool should work. So initially we have inputs, then we're going through two LLM steps and that is it. It is actually quite simple. This is just the workflow. So at the beginning, we have three input fields, the position, for instance, I have 100 stocks of, of Apple, then the strategy, in my case, long-term investing. This is actually the 
default values of these fields. So agent will be able to fill them uh, as it needs to. So, and the final field is time range. It is the time range at which we want to analyze our financial data. And in my case, I wanted to use the most recent one. So from February 1st to February 26th of this year. And then we are coming to the first LLM step. Here I'm using Perplexity AI to actually perform the web search to find all the relevant information from the web. And I'm saying I have a position of blah, blah, blah. Here the variable from the previous step is substituted. So in this case, I have 100 stocks of Apple. Then I'm saying that find me closing price of this asset for all trading dates in this time range. Then I'm describing all of the requirements for the output. I'm also asking for the important use and the general market sentiment. This is the very important data that we will use in the next step, which is performed using Claude 3.7 Sunnet and its thinking mode. Um, so it will actually analyze all the previous data from perplexity and find out what happened with the market, how the valuation of my position have changed from the beginning of the period to the end of the period. And it will also uh, provide some recommendations according to my position. So as you can see, we have this nice little prompt, very neatly organized. We're describing the role, we're describing the objective, and we're providing the data from Perplexity AI. And that is it. We've built our tool. It is actually quite simple, yet powerful. And before we move to the next step, I have one little ask for you. If you're finding this useful, please hit the like button because it really helps the channel and it tells me that you want more content like this. So right now let's get back to the main workspace. Here we have the agent tab and here I have financial analyst. This is the agent that I built. So it is connected to the asset analytics tool as you can see. So the agent can use it whenever it needs to. And the main setting of this agent is actually here in core instructions. Uh, imagine you have an employee and you have all of the SOPs and instructions that you provide to the person so it will be able to accomplish tasks successfully. This is the same thing. I'm describing in detail what the agent should do. Your role, your objective, your input. Uh, in this case, it's my assets position, then the time period to analyze and my trading strategy and the workflow. So it will need to use asset analytics separately for each of the assets that I have, then it will have to aggregate all of the um, information that it received from this tool. And then it will have to provide the final report to me uh, with all of the relevant data about my position already about all of the assets that I have inside. And as you can see here in the right top corner, uh, the agent is using Claude 3.7 as the main brain of it. So it will think using Claude to understand at what stage of the process uh, to use the tool and how to aggregate the data. And at this point, the agent is finally ready. So let's go ahead and watch at how this agent actually works. This is the most exciting part. So I already run the task, so I wouldn't waste time on it right now. The question was, I have one Bitcoin and 100 stocks of Nvidia. The time range that I'm interested in is February 1st to February 26th. My trading strategy is long-term investing. And I wanted it to create a full report about how my um, portfolio performed throughout this period, how the valuation changed. And uh, I wanted the explanation about why this happened and also the advice on how uh, I can improve my current position. So we could see that the agent used asset analytics tool to analyze Bitcoin first, and this is the report. Then it used the same tool to analyze Nvidia, and this is the same report for Nvidia. And then it provided the comprehensive portfolio analysis report as we wanted. First portfolio summary, uh, total portfolio value right now is 101,000. At the beginning of the period, it was 113,000, which is right. So the, per the portfolio has went down a lot. And right now it's giving the asset performance breakdown for BTC and for Nvidia. Then it explains what happened to both of them. For instance, here, what is interesting to me, it says that technical breakdown below 90K 
triggering stop loss orders, which make a lot of sense because many people are actually setting their stop losses at this uh, fundamental level. They were not believing that BTC will go lower, but it actually did that. And uh, this caused this cascading effect, making the price go even lower below 90K. So then it explains what happened to Nvidia throughout this period of time. For instance, what is interesting, it mentions competitive concerns from emerging players like Chinese startup DeepSeek, which is true, well, have absurd the tech sell-off, which was caused by DeepSeek. And then it provides strategic recommendations, maintain your Bitcoin position, hold Nvidia shares, consider strategic rebalancing, because right now you're heavily weighted toward Bitcoin, which is right. Maybe I have to slightly change my risk tolerance and um, add some other assets. And then opportunity for dollar cost averaging, of course, because right now relatively Nvidia and BTC prices are quite low. So I, I might as well DCA towards them and then monitor key developments. For instance, Trump administration economic policies, because of course Trump is very involved both with crypto and AI space. So it will affect both the Bitcoin and Nvidia. So in my opinion, this report is actually high quality. So go ahead and test Cloud 3.7 for yourself and build agents with it. And if you like this video, check out my full in-depth Relevance AI tutorial where I build an agent from scratch step-by-step step in full detail.